last words. Does Leo have a second name? Uh, like a last name? Yes. And his middle name is my wife's last name, and that's it. Uh, but we have we have like nicknames for him in Ch in Chinese. In Mandarin, we call him Pao Pao, which means bubbles, because when he was really young, when he was like a newborn, he always had like bubbles in his mouth, like foaming, like a like a little crab or something. So we call them bubbles. Leo invented Shinri Crab. Is he going to learn Korean? I'm sure he's going to pick up some Korean, but we're planning on sending him to English-speaking school. Oh, I need to mulligan Argea. Oopsies. Argea is actually unplayable. Is this the legendary Pred Dive? I think it is. Yeah, I would have rather maybe use Drowner, but maybe there'll be a second one in a later round. Pred Dive also would have been really good against like Croc. <laughs> He's playing around the second one. Oh no, he just wants to get the funeral board out here. A boardage, okay. Best boy, huh? What does best boy do? Golden Necker? Oh, some people have two first names. Oh, you mean in Chinese? Is opponent playing a Lippy deck? I doubt it. Uh, maybe. With both of these now? It's probably more likely um, a Compass deck than a Lippy deck. I guess I can play the Argeath, right? Because the Argeath is Echo. I can just mulligan the, the second Argeath. Hmm. I have no reach here. My reach is very bad. Like what's what tempo do I have? I don't I don't have tempo. This is like ten points. This gives me ten points of tempo. <laughs> Naval supremacy. Okay. I mean, you have no pirate in the game right now. We can go RD here. Uh, maybe not. This was actually going to kill itself. So maybe not. He plays into the back row anyways? Why? Wait, why? Weird, though. Doesn't want the boat to take damage from Frost. But the boat just killed itself from playing the pirate. So it's kind of strange. Ray Ro, thanks for the five watch streak. Um, okay, you no discard pass, on that. You gotta pay. Can't lay it through elseways. Just kind of want to stay short for a really long time, right? Um, I'm getting another three. So I need 11 to get ahead. I think we do this now. His naval supremacy, yeah, it's not played for any points. It's hurt him more than us. <clears throat> he could get some armor from hitting this now. But so far he has, like, no armor. So far he has no armor on any of his stuff. I don't need to win uneven. I'm fine with just winning... 
uh, down one. I didn't do the math on that. <laughs> Whoops. Because I'm getting ping from this and from naval supremacy. I thought it would easily be enough. Hey, Prison Junior. Hello. Got a mulligan this. We can keep this for a range rowboat so that it doesn't like ping all of our stuff. Um, and I guess we get rid of a. Hmm, uh, I guess we get rid of. I don't know what we get rid of. Mulligan Arrakis Nest or Spontaneous Evolution? Or Drowner? I think we should keep the Drowner. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe we don't need to keep the Drowner. The Drowner is really low tempo. Does he know that we're Caterwin? I mean, he should, right? I feel like he should know that we're not only. We, he saw a Night Wraith. He saw a Tribute. Even if he didn't see those, I feel like you should be able to tell at this point it's a, it's a Tatooine deck. So, Naglfar we'll probably use in this round. And we'll try to play it on Lara or Tatooine. There's a lot of bad options. I think this is a good matchup for us, or it should be. He has Cataclysm, though. Cataclysm can be awkward. Glory! What's this do? It spawns the Drakkar again at 5? Can Tatooine ever be used in Syndicate? There were some decks, some people tried to build Tatooine Syndicate decks. I think the best one that... I, I have never tried any of them, but I think I heard the best one that people have seen was, like, Bounty? Do you think Tatooine needs a buff? Uh, it could use a little bit of a buff, I guess. Hold on. Your souls will propel this launch. Wait, what? I counted wrong. <laughs> Oopsies. I counted wrong somewhere. And hey, math strikes back. Yeah, I didn't need to use my last leader card. Have I tried the Highwaymen version? I haven't personally tried the Highwaymen version. I think Caravan Vanguards and Highwaymen in Tatterwing, they doesn't add up. The math doesn't really add up. Yeah, you get two extra thinning, but you might not. Oh, God! Freaking seagulls, man. Okay, um. I think we go for the Nagalfar here. Try to hit Laura. Sarah Kwan. Save the Tatterwing for later, right? 
Oh no. Well, that's okay. That is okay. Right, whatever. Like. This way, I kill the croc with the frost. We're up 30 something. Death sails in circles. Miss, 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 miss. Nice. Uh, and I think we should pass now? Well, should we? If I play, I could go Nagelfar's crew back row. It would play for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It would play for like ten. It's not bad. Maybe we should play. We make certain the Nagafar is. We just win Sash? Why Sash then? I'll save the last leader charge. Just in case I need it for, I don't know, for something. I guess Bone Talisman <laughs> synergy. Okay. So many golds left in the deck, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. And we're still we're still like two zeroing. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven golds in the in the deck. <laughs> Cataclysm doesn't do anything, doesn't come back to our turn. Pirates. Uh nice. Good matchup for us though, I think. We're winning this matchup without using Tatterwing, Lara, Morbid, or Heatwave. GG, Caffeine Terry. Hmm. How do we get more consistency with this deck without playing garbage like Caravan Vanguard's Highwayman? Caravan Vanguard's Highwayman, it, what does it play for? The first Caravan Vanguard plays for four? And the second Caravan Vanguard plays for seven? So you're playing like a four for five, a six for seven, six for seven, thin two. You're playing a six for seven, thin two. And then there might be a chance that they remove the armor without killing the highwayman, and then your highwayman just gets clogged on top of your deck. First yeah, Maddox package could be a way. Maddox package could be a way to thin one. I think we did try Maddox Tatterwing before, right? There was, I remember like some sort of like AQ Maddox Tatterwing or something. Tempest is, yeah, Tempest is possible, but bricky. Um, bomb, oh, right, 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 the, the bomb heavers or whatever they're called. They're not called bomb heavers. Oh wait, pirates again? Sappers, yes. We don't have these this time. These were really useful. <clears throat> so this hand is a little bit short on... This hand is a little bit short on uh, Swarm. Like, how am I going to Swarm? I don't have any Swarm. I, maybe I have to use leader. He plays invader with Bran. Even I might play Highwayman, my opponent plays Ballista, even if they're not NR. Oh man, long ship. Yeah, we're gonna have so much trouble um, sticking any sort of swarm in this round. I could Parasite this. Maybe it's worth it. If it gets him to play a second light long ship, then I think we're kind of happy. 
It's going to probably cataclysm the back row. So we should try to stack into a different row. Veteran. Mayhap you gawk at Zarakanius Marvels too one day. If Parasite could boost by excess damage, yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so it's starting to look somewhat decent for our swarm. It's looking a little bit better. Just wondering if I should play Hive Mind in this round first before I go for it. Because like, I, once I commit to the Naglfar's crew, I have to play Lara Doran. So before that, should we maybe go for the Hive Mind first? I think so. We go Hive Mind, get the get the carryover, and the order probably do a similar order. Maybe swap the second and third one. Oh, oh there she Best round to sell for those damn nets. Oh. Thirty. Thirty. This place for seven. This place for fourteen. That's 21. Each one of these is 3. So I would need to use 3 leader charges. If I go Nagalfar's crew now, and then 3 leader charges plus Laura Doran would win it for us. I think it's worth it. Run, run. You're not getting far. Mm, should I stack the front row? Because I, I, he's he really doesn't want a cataclysm front because it's gonna hit this knight. Row. I have to go Lara Dorn now. Thinking if I should, how many leaders I should use here. I think this is enough. I need to save some leaders for maybe the second gals, right? Wait, um, I'm losing three. Gaining three. I need 27. Quite a lot. I think I could have done maybe more. If I did if I did two more leader charges, I still wouldn't be ahead though, because I'm losing another three on this, or two, at least two on this, right? Two more leader charges is six more points. Now if he passes though, if he passes I'm losing five. I'm at twenty-four, I need eleven. So it's like kind of awkward because Bone Talzin only gets me 10. I should probably use one more leader charge. How's his deck performing? So-so. Like maybe like two and two, three and two sort of deal. I could go for, I don't want to use the second Lara Doran though. I don't really want to use the second Lara Doran. I need um, 11 points, we said. It's got to be Bone Talisman plus a leader. Is veteran going three if we frost? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to use this anyways. I think it'll be. I think we we have a lot of swarm still left. Even though we only have one leader charge, we still have a lot of swarm left. I don't want that anymore. I don't think. I don't want that. Okay, cool. I 
I don't know. Should we have gone long round three? Maybe we should have gone long round three. <clears throat> we row stacking here? Yes. For Tempest? For Cataclysm? Well, he only has one Cataclysm left. He has Scenario. E oh, wait. No, it's fine, right? I think it's fine. Just kill it. Stalker, baby! Stalker, OP. Um, what is our Naglfar? Our Naglfar is getting Wispus. After we thin the Argaeus, we're getting Wispus Tribute and Morbud. The Seawolf. Wow! I don't have any more. Um. Dude, I want to, I want to roll the Naglfar now. Oh my god, but it's so greedy. I might miss the Morvud though. Like if I see the Ardgeth and then, it's, or if especially if I see these two, it's actually really bad. Nah. So the other thing we could do is we could play Tatterwing now. You guys think this deck is playing COC or Igni? I think we just, I think we just do this. We just do this. Naivety is a fool's blessing. So much, so much spite. Oh fuck! Damn, I can click this. Ah oh, no! If I clicked this, I would have gotten a um. Uh, Kiki Mori war Warrior, but I mean, he he would kill this with that. Plays into the frost. That's good. Seen it all already. Oh. One and and then some. I have damage. Good. He uses a leader on that. Ooh. This is looking good. <laughs> this is looking good again. And then we're guaranteed the top deck for Morvud in round three. We actually drew all of our gold. This time, same matchup, we drew all of our golds. Last time, we drew like no golds. That doesn't trigger the hive mine, huh? Oh, wait. Um. I just realized what I did. I need to play a card now. Whoops. Um. <laughs> Green button. So, nobody plays COC, right? Nobody plays COC. It's fine. We just play this. Yeah! 2 0 again. <laughs> We see green button, we must click. Uh, one of those moments. Adderwing, baby. <laughs>